Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Forza Motorsport 3. Today is episode number 123. If you want to help support the channel, then leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe, and feel free to check out the other videos in the Forza Mega series. Now let's get into the content. This video was streamed live on Twitch. Come watch us live with the link in the description. If you want to get cheap game keys for Xbox, PlayStation or PC, then check out Eniba in the description down below. All right, so we are here now for the Dream Match Showdown. Um, we're going to be taking the GT500 GTR because the Nissan is infinitely better than the Corvette. Uh, starting off with Maple Valley, moving on to Suzuka, Le Mans, New York, Silverstone, and then Road America. Let's get going. So I was um, I was explaining just before I started uh, sh like recording for the YouTube. Uh, yesterday was basically my first time trying this new format for recording content and making content, and that is to record during the week. And then just edit in one chunk. So rather than doing three smaller editing sessions that end up taking a lot of time. You do it in one go. And sure it takes a little bit longer and takes out a majority of your Sunday. But you get a lot more free time during the week. And overall it takes a lot less time. Had ten videos to render though and it was fucking mental. Yo, Owen, I'm going to say that's Owen. How are you today? <laughs> Hopefully you're having a good day. Added way too much honey into tea. Bottom of cup is essentially a lot of honey mixed with hot water. I mean, honey and water is... Uh, do you mix in lemon with it as well? Like lemon honey drink to help with the flow. What do you mean long time, Owen? Did you have like a different username before? Do, 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 do. Because if so, let me, let me know. Remember lockdown. What mass? Oh. Oh. Oh, fucking hell. Oh, that was a while ago. Fuck me. Yes, I do. Hmm, 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 hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Mm -hmm. I fucking love this song. <laughs> well, yeah, obviously. I hope we're not here to start any drama. <laughs> Because, um, if that's the case, I'll just ban. If you're genuinely here just because you want to be here, you can stay. <laughs> you can stay. Fair enough, fair enough. I appreciate that, man. Hey, Owen, thank you, thank you very much for the follow. It doesn't taste bad, it's just that there's not fully mixed honey. To be fair, I'm I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan of how honey tastes. To be perfectly honest. Really I'm not a fan of it. Um Yeah. But as as like a sweetener. Using it in like hot drinks, it's alright. 
it's not even too much sweet because I like sweet stuff. I think it's because honey is like this weird. It has a different type of sweetness. It's hard to explain it. Because whenever I taste it, it just, it's, it's like, huh. Yeah. Alex is a running joke here, let's be honest. A running joke that can't run. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Alex. <laughs> Essentially, it's B shit. Do you know? Hans, you didn't. You could have gone your entire life not ruining mine like that. Why? Why did you have? Because that's basically what honey is. It's bee shit. Cheers for pointing that out. And for anyone watching this, it's not my fault. It's Hans's fault. Hans is the one who said it. He's the one you should blame. <laughs> bee cum. Fucking hell. <laughs> <coughs> Cheers, Hans. My cough's back. <laughs> you are welcome, it. Oh, God. People that are watching this on YouTube are probably just like, what in the actual fuck? <laughs> that is brilliant. Owen, uh, do me a favour. Um, send me a Twitch whisper. Or, like, just message in chat, whatever's best. What your Discord username is. Okay, that's sorted out for you. Oh. This is such a weird song. But it it just slaps. It just hypes you up. Till I come. Till I come. It's just the whole lyrics. It's brilliant. Go, go, go! Speed is key. Fair enough, I'll get that sorted out. Between this and the next race. I gotta check my WhatsApp, because I think I got a WhatsApp message. Honestly, I fucking love this game. Going through all the falls has been pretty, um... Been a pretty good experience. And we've still got another couple of years of this, just playing Forza. Because Forza games are very fucking big. So to complete them is going to take a while. Oh, so close. <laughs> Bloody hell. It just kept understeering. I was like, it's going in the barrier. It's going in the barrier. 
I think it's actually worthwhile having a look for an Xbox 360. Like, anyone that says they want to play this, they always... Sometimes people are like, it's not backwards compatible though, so I can't play it on my Xbox. Like, this game is so good, it's worth looking for an Xbox 360 just to play it. Hands down. Like, it is worth going through that extra effort to get a 360 and play it. I mean, I'm basically just playing Motorsport 1 to 4 on 360, and then as soon as I'm done with those, um, I'm playing the rest of the games on Xbox One. Or maybe a Series X, if I get it. Just working Y-Box 420 isn't expensive, right? <laughs> yeah, it's, it's not that expensive. It'll only cost you $420.69. <laughs> Let's go. But yeah. Ooh! Started turning too early. Shit. Being a mechanic is shit wage, so I quit. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't surprise me. Oh my god. Yeah, those kind of jobs don't really pay very well. Especially in today's British climate. Stop spinning! Alright. Okay, there we go. We're fine. Whew! I basically just... It's not even two-wheel steering. It's one-wheel steering. Because the other steering wheel is just gone. You're on two wheels. Mental. Yeah, I've, I've had to uh, recently... Obviously, recently I've moved up to Cardiff. So I'm living in wheels. I'm living in wheels. Trying to get a HGV license. Ooh. What is that for, like, um... Lorry deliveries and stuff like that. That's pretty cool if it is. Fucking Euro Truck Simulator! <laughs> uh, I've been playing a metric fuck ton of that game. It's unreal. <laughs> ETS but IRL. <laughs> it's the in real life version of Euro Truck Simulator. <laughs> Yeah. Alright, we're now level 5 with the Nissan. Let's go. If you really want to know, Zeno, we were only looking at Suzuka for a couple of minutes, but... <laughs> Cheers for reminding me that I've got stuff to do. Uh, it's fucking brilliant. Go, go, go! Oh shit, I forgot the Discord thing. I'll sort it out in a minute, Owen. I forgot about that. Fuck. Yeah, we're in... It's either the Corvette GT3 or the Nissan GT50. GT50? GT500, sorry. Um, I don't think the Corvette's a GT500. 99% sure. But, yeah, I've, um, about a month ago, passed my driving test. Fucking took forever. It was, it was a complete shamble. I'd, I'd talk about my driving test, because it's, it's, it's a very funny story. Uh, I haven't got a car yet. I haven't got the car sorted out. Just pass. So, I can legally drive. I just need to work out what I'm getting. Um, yeah, so basically I started learning, doing like driving tests, like driving lessons back in, I think it was June 2019, with the intention of doing my practical test in April 2020. Um, that was sort of the time that I was supposed to be 
ready. Ready to do my test. Test was booked for April 2020. We were going to do it. We then had Corona hit. So my test basically got cancelled. Um, I was given the option to do it, but I had to wear face masks during my test. So I, I said I refuse to do a test for now. So I'll wait. Waited two years, and obviously COVID from like July 2020 till like July 2022 was still a little bit hit and miss. And it was only around about July um, when I think driving instructor, like July this year, the driving instructors were allowed to not wear face masks. And like they could drive without face masks without getting in trouble. My driving instructor was a little cheeky and let us not have to use it at all times. Um, got to August this year, which was supposed to be my test. And the DVSA had cancelled it with little warning, like a week's warning, and told me come back a month later. Obviously didn't fund it and shit like that came to uh, a couple of I think it was about two months ago now did my test, passed got six minors two of them for control of vehicle right the, um, yeah Saxo is a good good car actually Citroen's are pretty, pretty solid vehicles actually quite like him. Not a fan of Peugeot's though. I'll be honest. I'm not a fan of Peugeot's. Um, yeah, where was I? So, I got six minors. Two for... Um, clutch control. Because I stalled twice. It's fucking embarrassing. But uh, the instructor put that down to nerves. So he let me get away with that. Um, distance by, behind vehicle in front so I got a little too close basically become um, what even the Saxo shit I always thought that was quite a reliable older Citroen maybe not <laughs> maybe not <laughs> But, um, yeah, so I basically acted like a BMW driver on my test, which wasn't great. Um, hesitation. There was one more minor, and the last minor was speeding. So I got caught speeding on my driving test. <laughs> I, I tell this story every time because it's so fucking funny. It's so funny. Granted, I was only going 34 and a 30, but it, it was still speeding. And it was only for a split second as well. But it, it was still speeding. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I mean, rust is quite a... Quite a problem with a lot of old cars. Got told by my instructor that I'm a boy racer. Eh. I'll be honest. I I will admit. I think my instructor. He was quite a younger guy. And he, he was basically like. Get up to speed. As soon as possible. Don't. Delay or whatnot. So I'm quite heavy footed on my throttle. Because of that. Because of how I've been taught. Um, apparently a lot of people don't do that because a lot of instructors try and teach economical driving which isn't always the safest especially if you're taught how to pull away in an efficient manner that's always better economy is like not the important part but yeah I'm, I'm fairly heavy footed on my throttle pedal 
when it comes to pulling away. <laughs> That's pretty impressive. Two litre golf. I was landing in a... I'm not sure whether it was a 1.2 or a 1.4 litre, but it was a brand new uh, 2022 um, VW Golf. So it was one of those fancy ones with like electric handbrake, hill start assist, stuff like that. Basically, it had all the cheap devices for your driving test that makes it a million times easier. So, fun! <laughs> Loads of black clouds. <laughs> Speeding for point one second. Banned. I will be honest though. Um, I think a lot more people should learn how to drive at a younger age. Um, especially with how important driving is. I think schools should teach... I, I know it sounds weird. I think schools should teach kids how to, like... Maybe not how to physically drive, like, an actual vehicle. But teach them, like, laws of the road and stuff like that. Like, get the practical stuff out of the way in school. Because I found, once I've learned my practical stuff... And, like, I've got experience on the road of actually driving. Being... I'm a lot safer as a pedestrian. In traffic and stuff like that. Than I was before. Like, I'm a, a lot safe. I, I don't just stand there, look like I'm... Stood at the side of the road with no intention of crossing or anything like that. Like... There's so many little things as a driver that pedestrians do that piss us off. That if you were taught that in school, walking on the roads would be safer for pedestrians and for drivers. I really think it would be a good idea. I obviously don't think it's a good idea to give every 12-year-old a fucking car to try to learn to drive. Because that's just a recipe for disaster. Yeah, exactly. I had a couple of scares where I've controlled it myself. Uh, and then one incident where my driving instructor took over. He took over because he thought I wasn't going to react to it. I still reacted. But he had put his foot on the pedal slightly before me. We still wouldn't have hit it. But, like... Multiple times of drivers just being absolute dicks. <laughs> Driving off fields at 30. 12 year old me was good at driving, I'll be honest. Um, I did a like experience course thing. Basically, it's a closed, like privately owned bit of land, which is like a fake road course thing. Sort of like what they do when they try and teach you, like, better driving practices and stuff like that. Basically similar to that. Closed off circuit. With roads. Um, and I pretty much got in there and started driving the car. Never driven a car before. But got the grasp of how to understand the clutch so easily like I was what took me an hour quite easily would take other people four or five hours so yeah we both had a hundred pound dingers honestly I would love to like get a hundred pound shit box and just fucking rip around in it. I think that'd be fucking hilarious.
I think that would be fucking awesome. Several old dudes in places there's no crosswalk. Yeah, I mean, certain countries, I have, like, especially, like, Asian countries where there's a shit ton of pedestrians and a shit ton of vehicles, and it almost looks like it's fucking mayhem, but nobody dies from it. That baffles me. Baffles me completely. Doing off-roading in an old Range Rover Defender. Oh, my God. I, I will admit, I have driven like I don't know what they're called but they're like it's like an ATV but you sit in it it's like a little off-road vehicle um, we went round to farm fields and stuff like that like you know like the vehicles that farmers have that they whip around going from place to place because they are like little things whipped around in one of those round a field I absolutely fucking loved it no it's not a tractor um it's sort of like a buggy, but it's not a buggy. Like... Uh, farmer buggy. Can-Am. That's it. A Can-Am. Little Can-Am thing. It's pretty fucking awesome. But it, it is a buggy. It's just not like your normal off-road buggy. It's like multi-purpose kind of thing. What the fuck are you doing, you cunt? Yeah, I think that was one of my earlier experiences of like driving on my own those things were a ball like because they've got a one one pedal yeah I think the one I drove was a Can-Am I don't think it was John Deere but um yeah it, it has one pedal so it does like the accelerating and the braking all with one pedal um, and because of that, and it doesn't have a brake pedal on its own, um, it is like when you're not on the accelerator, it is full braking force. Um, which is fucking mental. Because obviously Teslas and stuff like that, electric cars, they have one pedal modes, but they still have brakes. So their one pedal mode, when you lift, just slows gradually. And then you use the brake if you want to emergency brake. This would basically be like an emergency brake if you lifted the throttle. Like, it was so, so terrible. Such a bad idea. But funny at the same time. Because we were having an absolute fucking blast. Brilliant. I still forgot to do the Discord thing. I'll do it after this one because this will be the end of this uh, YouTube video, anyways. So that'll be a nice cutting point that I can actually like sort stuff out. No doors, a little window, like nothing prepares you for it. It is those green thingies that flip your car in GT. What? What green thing is? Grass?
trees? What green thingies? I'm genuinely curious. Yeah, like... That, I think, is the one thing that shocks me about those buggy things, is the fact that they don't have a door. Like, somehow, you're going, like, shaking side to side, and your body is literally going outside of the door, and you've got to try and, like, fucking survive. It's a bit of a ball like. Uh, yeah, I tried, um, Car Mechanic Sim when it came out. It's a really good game. Uh, the only problem I have with it is the fact that... What was the point in buying Car Mechanic Sim 21 when... The only DLC they've really brought out for the 21 edition is the remastered DLC from the last game and a majority of the new stuff has been added to Car Mechanic 2018. Like, I bought it day one expecting, like, new stuff. There wasn't really much new DLC. I keep knocking my thumbstick. Plus, I bought it in August. Like, mid-August when it came out on PlayStation and, like, PC and everything. Because it all came out at the same time. Yeah, they added the Drag Racing DLC. I suppose that's a new one. Oh, what? Those little, um... Pillars. Yeah. Okay, I see what you mean. Yeah, I've just seen them there. I didn't see them for the rest of the track because they weren't really there that much. I get what you mean. Um, yeah, the, I literally bought it on PlayStation and then I bought my PC like two weeks after that. Spent a grand on this bad boy. Fucking brilliant. Best purchase I ever made because... This has done so much, like, rendering, editing, streaming, gaming, it does it all. <laughs> this bad boy can fit so many hours. Honestly, I cannot tell you how many hours this fucking build has. Like, this, this PC's probably gone through what an average PC would go through in about three years. In a year. So... But yeah, got this thing, and um, oh, I nearly pressed the power button then. <laughs> that would have been fucking embarrassing. <laughs> yeah, bought the bought this PC, and um, basically haven't really touched my PS5 much at all, except for GT7, and that uh, I barely play anymore again. So I've got a dodgy power button. I'll be honest, the case that I've got was a cheap case so the power button is slightly dented in and it is like millimeters from activation point so i don't even have to press it to the click before it activates the uh switch and shuts down the pc so Yeah, I mean, I, I just can't justify seeing me... I, I might buy the next Car Mechanic on PC. Or if there's like a humble bundle where Car Mechanic Sim 21 is fairly cheap, I might get it. But... In that case, don't press a button. Yes. In this case, you don't want to press the power button. Because it is very sensitive. You don't want to knock it at all. <laughs> Humble Bundle's fucking brilliant. I am affiliated with them, <laughs> after all. Yeah, the demise of every game is bullet. Yeah, I forgot modding's actually a thing on PC, innit? Could be worthwhile. It's sensitive like every average woman. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Holy fuck. Oh 
Holy Balls! Me England not bestest, sorry. <laughs> That's fucking amazing. Sorry for bed England. I sell it my wife for internet connection. <laughs> That's fucking brilliant. That is one of the best memes ever. I fucking love that. Hello, I'm 48 year old man from Somalia. Sorry for my bed England. <laughs> oh, it's brilliant. Yeah, I might, um, I might look into it. I gotta wait to see what next month's Humble Bundle choice is, because, well, December hasn't actually been announced yet. I say next month as if it's like, you know, next month. It's this month. We're five days into December and Humble Bundle hasn't announced their Humble Choice game, so... <laughs> to be the bestest in country strike globally offensive. <laughs> That's fucking amazing. Oh wow, that's funny. <laughs> hey, thank you for the posture check, Zeno. Appreciate it, man. Souvenirs. Green pillar. We're going till it all burns down. No longer in Swindon. Ah, moving on, I guess. <laughs> Not really wanting to get into it too much, but uh, yeah. Moved house, um, moved out. And uh, starting afresh. Woohoo! Yeah. Swindon's a shit old lad. How your back will thank me in the next 40 if there's no guarantee that you will stream. I mean, it will still remember you in 40 years time and be like, thank you for the posture check, you've saved me. So. Oh, this is brilliant. If anyone recognizes this one, you're a fucking G. 60 year old mech on Discord, fuck me. <laughs> oh my god, imagine us just In my days, we used an application called Discord You still call them applications? We call them Experiences <laughs> Fucking, Imagine if that's what they do in the future They're like, what the fuck's an application? Oh my god, we'd be We'd all die Like simultaneously, our entire generation You'd have like 40 year olds all the way down to like 10 year olds just all simultaneously die in one go. Fucking hell, that'd be crazy. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one. Peace out. Oh.